G'day guys, Josh here from Sportitude. Today, coming at you with a kids' shoe review. Now, um, parents out there, it's time to start thinking about what shoes you're gonna put on your kids' feet for back to school. Now, um, this is gonna be a, a lengthy video just talking about some subtle differences between some cross trainers and running shoes, and then differences about the cross training family. So, um, I'll be touching on the ASICS uh, cross training family this morning. Now, the reason um, we're only doing the ASICS family is because they've probably got the deepest range um, from all the suppliers that Sportitude deal with um, here in Australia. So, first we'll talk about the 800 XTR. So, um, the biggest key, or the key feature about this cross trainer is it's actually built on a running shoe base. So, uh, for parents out there, or kids out there who are incredibly active, who love a lot of running, but maybe have some issues with wear with meshed shoes, they either break through the top, or um, your child happens to play on wet long grass and they get soggy feet, whatever the issue is um, with mesh, and um, you're looking for a leather upper or a solid upper, um, but on a running shoe base, the 800 uh, TR is the way to go. Now, first things first for this little guy, get a little tag out of the way here. It's built on a neutral platform, so there's no added arch support inside this shoe, which is probably a good thing for kids because kids can grow at a rapid rate. And kids, remember, their feet are still developing um, for a period of time. Now, girls happen to develop a lot quicker than boys, but just picture a kid's foot, it's always growing. So if you go and put an arch support in a specific area, sometimes it, it has a positive effect for children, but you'll often find with, uh, with whether it be a running shoe or a cross trainer that um, the brands won't use a really intrusive arch support. It'll just be a gentle, like a, almost like a guided support. They don't want to um, essentially hinder the kid's natural gait as they run. So get back to the shoe. We've got a shoe with a running, uh, a cross trainer, pardon me, with a running base. So you can see it's got a trussing system through the midfoot. Splitting the forefoot and the heel, you can see we've got your two flex screws through the forefoot under that first metatarsal joint. And then you've got sort of almost two and a half flex screws on that lateral side. So for a cross trainer, it's got a lot of flexibility, which is great. Underneath the heel, we've got a gel cushion pod and we have a cradled, sort of what we call impact zone on that uh, sort of center of the heel point, which is great for walking. And then on the lateral side through here, these two pods are there to cater for running when you heel strike on that lateral side of your heel. So in terms of the comfort of this shoe, it's fantastic, the 800 TR. It's got um, a lot of cushioning underneath the foot for um, very active children. It does only come in grade school sizes. So at home, that's um, important to know. So um, underneath this video, we'll give a breakdown of, or pardon me, in the comments of this video, we'll give you a breakdown of preschool sizes versus grade school sizes. And there is an overlap between the two. So. Um, Grade school sizes in the 800 TR. Um, other little feature, we've got a tiny little stitched toe cap at the front here. Um, I wouldn't say it's the most reinforced stitched toe cap. It's very similar to their running shoes. So um, if your child is quite active and they happen to drag their foot um, maybe 10 times on a court surface, that will potentially pop off. It's unfortunate that um, that is the case, but if you want a more durable shoe, we'll touch on some other models in two ticks. Cool, there you have it, 800 TR. Next, we've got the 195 TR. This is uh, probably, over the last five years, one of their most uh, consistent kids cross trainers um, to talk about, and that with the 540 TR. So what you have here is you've got a very traditional cross trainer. This is like your happy medium between running and court sports. So almost like a 50-50 blend. So we talked about the 800 TR being more of a running-based cross trainer. Now, if I had to put a number on it, it's probably more 80% running, 20% court. And then on the flip side, we'll talk about another shoe in a tick with a 540 TR, which is the opposite flip. This is your 50-50, this little guy here. So we've got one flex screw through the forefoot, so it gives some flexibility on toe off. Underneath the arch, there is a very, very mild bit of um, dual density foam, essentially sitting right between my fingers through there. So as I touched on earlier, it's, uh, I would never put a child who overpronates um, significantly inside this shoe and say, this is gonna solve your overpronating problems because um, it won't. It's just like a guidance phase for that mid start cycle. Underneath the heel, we've got a little gel pod through um, the back through here, and we've got a little cradle impact zone and sort of outsole configuration here, um, as you can see through that. So for central heel, uh, heel strikers when you're walking and for a little bit of lateral support when you're running. Um, we've got a leather forefoot in this little guy. Let me just double check that because sometimes they do change. 
Yep, leather forefoot, and then we've got some synthetic linings on the medial natural side and around the back. So leather forefoot, that's good, breathes really well. Got some little breathe holes through here as well, just for those really hot days where you need the air to get out. So um, a mesh tongue, I like to touch on the mesh tongue too. So um, obviously offers more ventilation on a warmer day through the mesh channeling there, but if it's gonna rain or your child happens to run through a puddle, guess what? water will potentially get through the top there and they're gonna have soggy feet. So this shoe being leather or majority leather isn't gonna stop your child from getting wet feet. So we've got a stitched toe at the front as well, a little bit like the 800TR, very mild stitched toe. And we've also got a double stitched toe cap or toe box region through here as well, which is great. So you've got synthetic here around the side and this part of the shoe here is, is leather. So it's a lot softer through there. So the reason they do synthetic through here, it, synthetic is actually a little bit um, you can say more rigid than a leather. Leather stretches and is quite pliable over time, so that's why they do synthetic linings around the front through here. Um, other feature about the shoe, trussing system. We don't really have a strong trussing system. It's more of just a, a reinforced rubber set up through that midfoot region, splitting the heel to the forefoot. So yes, it's stable enough for kids, which is great. Um, nice deep internal heel counter, so you do get a bit of ankle support. Obviously, being a cross trainer, you need to have um, support for running, you need to have support for jumping and landing and obviously lateral movement, hence why they have the internal heel counter at the back. Cool, there you have it, 195TR. Next shoe I'd like to talk about is the Trigger, the Gel Trigger. Now in my hand here, I've got the preschool version. So preschool comes with an elastic lace set up down the forefoot through here that can't essentially be adjusted, you can't tie it any tighter, it's fixed in its position and then a Velcro strap up the top. Now, um, again, in this video, I've said before, in this video, we'll write the sizes for preschool and then we'll write the sizes for grade school and there is that little lap over. So, um, with the Velcro strap and the elastic laces, um, you can get enough support, but obviously if you picture a, a lacing setup, you can really get a customized support by pulling it from the base right up to the top and tying up the shoelaces. You're gonna get a bit more um, support up top than what you've got through here. So this is more designed at um, probably your, your child is just not really keen on doing shoelaces up and, um, and obviously not gonna to be too aggressive on their feet, not too much high impact lateral movement. Um, underneath the shoe here, we've got almost like a trail outsole. So um, it's actually kind of aggressive. It's, it's, it's borderline turf shoe. So I'll try and get that as close to the camera as I possibly can, give you a bit of an indication through there. But you've got um, a shoe with, with plenty of grip for loose terrain, grass, gravel, dirt. That's gonna give your, 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 your child a little bit more traction. Two flex screws through the forefoot, which is great. Gives you a bit more flexibility. A very tiny little stitch toe cap at the front. Again, it's not um, guaranteed to pop off. I can't say that uh, am I, you know, if your child again rides a bike, drags it on a court surface, it potentially could rip off. That's just unfortunately how it's designed. Um, however, um, being stitched and glued, it's, it's pretty well reinforced. Again, a double stitch toe box around the front. We've got mesh channeling, uh, mesh panelling, pardon me, up the lateral side through here and obviously a mesh tongue too for a little bit more ventilation. Talk about the internal heel counter, nice and stable at the back, which is great. And we have a gel pod through the heel of this little guy through here for kids uh, requiring a little bit more cushioning underneath the heel. So there you have it. That is our little trigger story through there. Good little shoe, that one. Now I'm gonna move on to the 540TR, which in terms of the cross-training family from ASICS, it is their most durable, and it comes in both grade school and preschool. Now, I'll hold up the grade school version through here first. We've got lacing system through here, and then I'll hold up the preschool version here in the boys' color. Oops, my little tag fell off. So just like the trigger, you can see we've got the elastic lace set up through, um, through the bottom half of the lacing system, and then we've got the elastic, uh, pardon me, the Velcro strap up top for a little bit of support up there. Now, why is this shoe uh, the most durable out of the ASICS cross training family? There's a few reasons why. Um, I'll put the preschool one down and I'll concentrate on the grade school. So underneath the shoe through here, we've got a completely reinforced outsole. So there's no flex grooves across the base. It's okay for a bit of running. I'm not saying don't run on it because it's absolutely fine for a bit of running. Um, however, it's very, very close to what you'd see from a court shoe. So when we look at court shoes, um, we see that the outsole wraps up around the midsole ever so slightly. So again, I'm gonna do my best to bring this close to the camera. You can see the, how the outsole just comes up around the midsole. So what that does is, if you picture your child dragging their foot on a court surface, 
because it's not a 90 degree angle and it's not split between the EVA foam and the rubber, that won't peel off or it'll, it'll take some pretty hard wearing to peel that off. But um, that, ever, as it wraps up around, is great for kids who might be playing a bit of tennis, might be doing a little bit of netball, um, or are just really hard on their shoes at recess and lunchtime on the asphalt surfaces at school that need a little bit more um, sort of reinforced support around that, that midsole to outsole setup. Also, you look at the toe box through here. So the other shoes I've touched on have had more like a little toe cap through here, still stitched. This little guy covers a lot more area and it's got a bigger stitching reinforcement through here. So also one little thing, we've got this little digit through here. So you see where my finger is? If I take that away, that's the first metatarsal. So that's where your first met head sits. Now it's a pivot point through here. So picture kids that play netball and tennis on their forefoot twist and turn. That essentially just helps that phase of your exercise. Through the back half through here, we've got a centralized gel heel cushioning pad, which is great, gives the kid a little bit more support. And underneath the arch, as I've touched on earlier, is a wee bit of Duomax arch support, so dual density foam under there. So um, I'll get that right. So essentially between my fingers right there is their arch support. Again, I would never put a kid who requires lots of pronation support inside this shoe and say this is gonna fix your problems. It's more just a guidance support through there. Now, we're talking about a heel counter. This little heel counter is a fraction deeper than the other ASICS cross trainers we've touched on earlier because it's that 80%, 20% split. 80% court, 20% running. So with that, you need a lot more ankle support for little kids. Jumping, landing, lateral direction, or lateral movement, sorry, will give you um, a wee bit more support inside this guy here than the others. Other thing I'd like to talk on is the leather forefoot. So you can see the little Breathe holes through there, that's a leather setup, and then we get synthetic linings around the side, and also a double stitched toe box area, which is gonna give the shoe a little bit more reinforcement as well. Cool, um, one thing I'd like to touch on before we finish this video, the cross training family all have non-marking soles. So some schools are quite strict on what the kids can wear in the classroom, also in the gym, on floorboard surfaces, etc. So they actually won't mark the, court, uh, the courts at all. Even though they're black, they have a special coating on them that won't allow them to mark the courts at all. Cool. Um, any questions with uh, the kids' shoes, please sing out. Now, we're also going to do a kids' fitting video um, in sort of conjunction with this tech video, which is going to give you at home uh, some tips on how to fit your children. So uh, stay tuned for that one. Um, other than that, guys, I'd like to say happy running, but happy cross-training. And we'll see you next time. Bye.